Let's go and build the appliance guy up here in Northern California. Today we're looking at some timers. These are the, they, these are like plastic shell timers basically. And they have this little thing that pops off the top. These are the point sets that come off the top of the timer. And basically there's a little sort of notch right there that that hole sets in. You stick a screwdriver in there and you can pop that up and then these side uh, tabs here basically hold the points in place. And if you look at it, this one is actually not burnt. This one is in pretty good shape. I had two of them. I pulled the point set out of the good one and I'm putting it in the suspect timer. What what had happened is I had this one had a stacked washer. It's a stacked washer and dryer and basically the motor did not seem to get uh, enough uh, amperage and it would grunt and grind and smoke and so what I did is I pulled the these points off the top and basically trashed them. I pulled these points off this other one that was better. Anyway, if you pull your top off and you look inside here and you see anything that looks like burnt or toasted areas around here, then what you can do is you can stick a piece of small sandpaper in between the points and clean them up. So what I do is I will cut a small sliver of sandpaper and run it in between the points. Um, so basically you have to be careful on these, it's kind of tricky. Uh, you don't want to bend the points too much. Um, you just want to see if you can get a, a piece of sandpaper in between the points that are burnt. I wouldn't mess with the other points that don't look like they're burnt. Usually you can see a notice, noticeably dark area. On this one it does not have it because this one is supposedly a good set of points. Now, <clears throat> I've been doing this a few years and I believe that these tops are the same. The thing that differs is the cog. So these two cogs, for instance, if they're not the same model number, this cog, these little rivets or whatever, dip, kits or whatever on the cog, and you can see this one is a completely different color. So I believe the point sets are the same. I believe the cogs are different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've already made sure that these points are good so I'm just going to pop this one back in and before I put it in I'm going to lube any of the moving parts um, and I have this um, tri-flow uh, dropper lubricant that I'm going to lube the cog and the shaft and uh, put it back together. Hopefully that will work. So I hope this helped you. If you need your uh, timer rebuilt, I do rebuilds. And if you're interested, you can contact me at applianceworks at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.